Hi, I'd like to say hello to everybody and hope you find this interesting. This is the level control that I made for my Big Supreme 12 foot Gato and because of the length of it the actual level control has to be very very sensitive to cope with it and if you actually look at this I'm hardly moving the actual board and the actual gain on it is actually turned down a bit actually at the moment as well but this is just the development board that you're seeing here it ha has actually got a dual axis accelerometer IC on board but say this was just to design the original unit because everything I always do it this way so if I ever want to go back to it I can uh, play about at a later date with it but if you look at the size of it there and now you look at the size of it when it's made on a double sided PCB because there's tracks on the other side of that board as well as on the top side that you're actually seeing now that little black square to the uh, right of the board is a surface mounted chip and I've put that there just to give you some sort of idea how small it is actually and there's a two pence piece so you get an idea of how big it actually is so all that that's on there goes on that board there um, and this side of it this is the level controls that were about 20 years ago and I've just brought this out of the garage just to show you this one I did actually had a Hall effect sensor on it I presume you can see it just there and there's bearings in it and there's a pendulum underneath I mean it's it's junk now but at the time it worked and of course on the end of that there was a dirty great printed circuit board because surface mounted technology at the time didn't exist so I've just kept that as a, a memento um, but what I'm planning to do is with this level control I'm going to build a smaller boat and the idea is that what you'll be able to do is if you've got a very very sensitive level control like this this will be linked to your piston trim tanks front and back on the boat and then you'll have a, a central ballast tank which will be compressed there operated if you like the same as a real submarine but then with inside that central ballast tank you'll have another piston tank and the idea is that let's say the two end piston tanks will be on level control feedback circuits and control loops but what will happen then is the piston tank inside the main tank inside the the boat itself will be linked to an infrared depth control unit which is very very sensitive again and what you'll be able to do is put the boat into an actual hover so if, if you wanted it to say be three foot down in the water and just sit there motionless it'll just sit there and, and levitate but um, I'm trying to get the big or the the big boat all finished at the moment hopefully to take it out next year but um, it's a lot of time messing about doing all this um, electronics as you can imagine but if we actually look at these are some boards I had made in China and if you actually look at the quality for what it costs to get these done they make a fabulous job and these are for a telemetry unit um, I don't know whether you can see it very well but just there is where there's a big processor fit, surface mounted. But uh, anyway, hope you found this interesting. And um, I'll leave it at that.